Mercedes-Benz C-Class Expert Review Duncan Brady Despite having half the cylinders of its predecessor, the insanely powerful 2024 Mercedes-AMG C63 SE performance should stomp on the performance of the old V8-powered C63. And the new models a plug-in hybrid, too. We're not anticipating any major changes to the standard C300 sedan or C43, but Mercedes-AMG has announced the range-topping C-Class performance model arrives for 2024. C63 Power and Torque Chevron Gone is the old C63's twin-turbo V8, replaced by a version of AMG's bonkers four-cylinder augmented by an electric turbocharger and a plug-in hybrid system with a 201-horsepower motor on the rear axle. The engine by itself makes 469 horsepower, but total system output sums to 670 horsepower and 752 pounds to foot of torque. Two transmissions? Chevron. The electric motor has its own two-speed automated transmission while the gas engine uses a nine-speed automatic. So why two transmissions? Mercedes says the nine-speed can only handle about 736 pounds to foot of torque and, plus, Having the e-motor use its own transmission allows it to distribute torque to the front or rear axle as needed. Also, unlike previous AMG C-Class models, the 2024 C63 has standard AWD. Compact Car Plus V8 engine, it's been a surefire formula for performance since the original Pontiac GTO. Maybe that's why Americans have long had a soft spot for AMG C63. With its rumbling V8s ready to brew up a storm, the Nuggety C63, in sedan or coupe flavors, has always felt right at home in the land that invented the muscle car. There's no shortage of muscle under the skin of the 2023 Mercedes-AMG C63 SE Performance Sedan. It packs a thumping 670 horsepower and 752 pounds to foot of torque, making it the most powerful C63 sedan in history, capable of slingshotting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds according to AMG and hitting 174 miles per hour on the Autobahn. But it only has four cylinders under the hood. Sacrilege? Heresy? An abrogation of all that is holy at a fall turbock? Not at all, smiles AMG Chief Technical Officer Johan Herman as he drives a camoed C63 SE performance prototype onto the 2.5-mile racetrack buried in the heart of the sprawling Mercedes-Benz proving ground outside Emendingen, 80 miles south of Stuttgart. It's more like moving with the times. We could have just done another V8 C63, Herman said. But we would have been stuck in the past. We're in race mode and Herman punches the gas. There's a deep baritone snarl from up front and neck snapping acceleration as all four tires claw at the tarmac, the AMG speed shift transmission jackhammering through a lightning quick series of upshifts. No, this new C63 doesn't quite sound like the old ones we've come to know and love. It doesn't quite go like them, either. It's much harder, more instant, more urgent, more intense. V8? Who needs a V8? That's, like, so yesterday, man. Ask Herman what the AMG One Hypercar program has been like, and you'll get a succinct reply, a nightmare. The AMG One, of course, started life as the Project One concept unveiled at the 2017 Frankfurt Auto Show by F1 ace Lewis Hamilton and then Mercedes-Benz boss Dieter Zetsch. Project One was nothing if not audacious in its ambition, a 1,000-plus horsepower, all-wheel-drive, road-going hypercar that borrowed key elements of its hybrid powertrain concept, right down to the screaming 1.6-liter V6 engine at its core, from the 2016 Mercedes-AMG F1 racer. Trying to get the little V6, which an F1 trim idles at 5,000 revolutions per minute and revs to 15,000 revolutions per minute, to be street drivable and meet emissions and play nice with the car's four electric motors, one coupled to the crankshaft, one coupled to the turbocharger, and one driving each of the front wheels, has been one of the project's major headaches. But Herman says the main reason the program has run so late, production is now finally underway and the first of 275 buyers will take delivery of their cars in a few months, is because we had to learn all the software stuff to make it work. However, the nightmare has had a happy ending. Herman says that a lot of the learnings from trying to tame the AMG One have gone into executing the new C63's hybrid powertrain.